Are you cooking with gas to supersize and grow your business? Sharon Hornelstrom here, and our idiom today is cooking with gas. And this is a great one when it comes to building and growing and supersizing our business. Why? Because process improvement, doing things fast, energetically, enthusiastically, more easily, finding better, faster, easier, way, easier more efficient and effective ways to do anything is a lot of what all our businesses are about, right? Solving problems for people, making their life simple, or, or easier, helping them to save resources, helping them to do things that they never thought they could do without our help before. That's the reason many of our businesses exist. This idiom, of course, comes from the act of cooking and feeding ourselves, right? Something that we need to do absolutely every single day. And it used to be a huge endeavor. Whenever you wanted to cook something, even something as simple as a cup of coffee or to heat water to boil something or cook something, you had to collect wood, you had to start a fire, you had to, well, you had to build a fire. Sometimes you even had to go hunt and kill your, your meal. But life over the time has gotten simpler and easier, more efficient and more effective for all of us when it comes to the whole feeding ourselves process, probably because it's something each and every one of us have to do several times a day. And in the 20th century, when gas was invented, instead of having to do all the preliminary things you used to, to do to get hot or heat, a heat source, all you had to do was click a button or turn a knob and you instantly had a flame. You had heat at your fingertips, hopefully not at your fingertips, but you had it available to go ahead and make that cup of coffee, make that tea, make that meal, make whatever it is that you were making. And nowadays, there's all kinds of new technology. There's all kinds of new ways to get food or to solve our problem of eating several times a day. Uh, COVID-19 has actually speeded up that process for many of us. Many of us now are getting home delivery of products and services, groceries, or taking that a step further, services like HelloFresh, where they actually chop up and cut up and measure all the food for you package it up and then put it with step-by-step -step instructions so that you can even more quickly and easily prepare your meals, get what it is that you need to eat. Plus there's all kinds of foods and technologies and inventions that have come along that give us instant meals, instant um, ways of not even having to cook. We can eat a protein bar, we can um, grab a, a snack, we can go through fast food drive ups. There's so many alternatives nowadays for, and they're all examples of cooking with gas, making a process or a, an activity simpler, easier, faster, more efficient, and more effective for the end user. So how do you use cooking with gas? How do you use that this is a definition, really it's a definition of continuous improvement, at least in my mind. Uh, we're always looking as humans for ways to do things better. We're always looking for ways to improve things. New technology and in, in, inventions are coming up all, all the time, all the time, especially during times of challenge times of change and COVID-19 has definitely been a huge time of challenge and change for everyone. It's been a global thing. Uh, never in my lifetime have I seen a, a, anything that has swept throughout the entire world, the entire globe. And so people are finding solutions. So how do you apply this to your business? Well, are you always looking for solutions and better solutions, faster, easier, more efficient, more effective ways of doing everything not only within your company within your own life but also for your customers you can provide them with a solution but have you ever stopped and looked at that solution and said okay this is what we do and how we do it but if we tweaked these two things we could save people 20 percent of the time that it takes to implement our solution things like that we always want to be asking ourselves questions as to how we can serve people better, how we can make sure that we can enhance and give them a better experience when working with and interacting with our organization. Those are examples of cooking with gas. So I'd be curious, what ways are you improving your processes, improving your internal or external or both type systems? Do you do an annual review or a more frequent review of your processes and systems? You know, in my Italian food manufacturing business, at least on an annual basis, we made sure that every department and every system, process, procedure, um, document, paper, data was looked at and, and we at least considered, is this good as it is or are there ways that we could improve it? Are we using the information that we're collecting or is this something we should consider not doing anymore? Um, so we were always on a, a cycle of continuous improvement, at least on an annual basis. Otherwise, 
we found that things would fall through the cracks and we were doing things that were wasting time, wasting energy, wasting our limited resources. So that's our idiom for today, cooking with gas. Would love to know your experience with this. I'd also love to know, do you like cooking with gas or electric? That, that's an interesting question because my uh, ex-husband and I used to debate about it a lot. You know, he and, and a few people believed gas is the way to go. I, of course, believed electric was the way to go only because I was raised with electric cooking my entire life. And so that's what I learned on. That's what I was used to. That's what I preferred. Um, so I'd be curious, gas, electric, what's your favorite way to cook? Or heck, do you still like to cook over the open flame in terms of building your own fire and creating and cooking that way. Sick, go out, have an absolutely amazing day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, share your gas or electric cooking or something that you've learned, something that you're doing, maybe especially during COVID-19 in your company to continue trucking along and cooking with gas, even though many are struggling. That would be really, really helpful for, for all of us to share that. All right, have an awesome day. Cook with some gas today. And I will, of course, see you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to supersize and grow the business you want right now? Bye. Take care.